There are few weather events that pack the power and the fury of hurricanes. 155 mile an hour winds are incredibly dangerous. There will be debris in the air and flooding powerful enough to move cars around. Whoa. They're fierce and often terrifying. Oh my God. In the case of Hurricane Ian, maximum sustained winds over 240 kilometers per hour were recorded. But I literally watched my house disappear with everything in it. Mm -hmm. Right before my eyes. Offshore wind turbines rely on more moderate gusts to generate electricity. The challenge in this era of increasingly powerful storms is making these turbines more hurricane resilient. What if, some scientists thought, turbine rotors were more like palm trees? Yeah, palm trees were an inspiration for this. They uh, can survive hurricane conditions. Lucy Powell with the University of Colorado Boulder is part of a national research team that's developed a turbine that faces downwind rather than into the wind, as most do now, better protecting, she says, the adjoining towers. The idea is that by facing the rotor downwind, we can have lighter blades. The blades in general will be blown by the wind further away from the tower, so we don't have to worry about the blades hitting the tower. To minimize that risk, current upwind rotors are stiffer and heavier. They require more materials to build. Downwind blades are lighter, more flexible, and cheaper. At a time when wind turbines in places like the Atlantic Ocean have increased in size, that could be a real plus. We believe that a downwind rotor may have advantages over an upwind rotor in uh, hurricane conditions, but we also, yeah, we don't know for sure. The downwind concept has fared well in tests during periods of peak wind gusts, but it's still in the experimental stage. I think if we can overcome this hurdle where they can survive a hurricane, typhoon type conditions, that it would definitely be very useful and helpful for humanity and our energy needs. Energy needs that wind will play a key part in addressing in the years ahead. Of course, not winds like this. Hendrickson Randy, CGTN, Denver.